Hi everyone, welcome to our 8th module of Verilog HDL Crash Course. In this module, we are going to cover timing control statements used in Verilog. So before I start this video, just a small request, if you are visiting this channel first time or you have not subscribed this channel so far, I would request you to please do subscribe this channel and press the bell icon so that you would get notified as soon as I upload a new video. Now let's get started. So the first type of timing control statement in Verilog is nothing but delayed control statement and this is also known as inter assignment delay. So the inter assignment delay specifies the delay time units before a statement is executed during simulation. So if we have inter assignment delay specified in our simulation it basically specifies that after how much time those statements are going to be executed. Friends, the next important point about inter assignment delay is the zero unit delay. A delay time of zero can also be specified to force the statement to the end of the list of statements to be evaluated at the current simulation time. So, for example, we can say that okay, the inter assignment delay is specified as zero, so it doesn't have any effect. But it is definitely has an effect and it will push that particular statement to be executed at the end of the list of statements. For example, in a block we have 5 statements and one statement is with 0 time delay specified something like this. So this basically statement is going to be executed at the last that means at the 5th place even though this statement is basically sitting at 2nd place. Now how the syntax of delayed control or inter assignment delay looks like. So this is how the syntax of delayed or inter assignment delay looks like. We have the time unit, delay time unit is specified by using a hash character and then we have the statement. So if you see here we have a 5 unit delayed statement or inter assignment delay with a 5 unit and the statement is a equal to b plus c. So how it will get executed? So when the control comes to this statement, this statement basically will wait for 5 time units and then it will take the value of B and C and it will assign to A. And if we have a 0 unit delay specified, this statement basically will get executed at the end of the list of statements. So basically if I say we have X equal to B y equal to c, a equal to b and this is basically specified by 0 time unit and then we have b equal to c. So these are the statements we have inside our begin and end block. So how these statements will get executed? This will get executed first, then this will get executed, then this will get executed and then at the last this statement will get executed. So I hope this is clear. Now let's see the second type of timing control statement in Verilog and friends one another important point here is delayed control or inter assignment delays are non synthesizable that means they cannot be used in implementing the hardware but we can use them during simulation. Guys the next important timing control statement in Verilog is intra assignment delay. Again this is also a non synthesizable constraint. So basically we cannot use the intra assignment delay in the RTL which we are writing to implement the hard delay. But for simulation of that particular hardware we can use the intra assignment delay in our test bench. So this delay is basically placed after the equal sign that means at the right hand side expression and the left hand assignment is delayed by the specified time units but the right hand side of the assignment is evaluated before the delay. Very important point here. So basically this is the difference between how inter assignment delay and inter assignment delay evaluates. We will see this using one example and this is important when a variable may be changed in a concurrent procedure. So this is basically one application of inter assignment delay. We will see how it is basically useful in our test bench. So this is the syntax of inter assignment delay. We have the left hand side variable and then the delay time unit and then we have the expression at our right, right hand side. So this is one example here, assign a equal to 1, assign b equal to 0 and then always at positive edge of the clock, this is intra assignment delay. That means graph the input at current instance 
and then after five time you need assign it to b that means whatever is the value of a is that is one a will be the value of a will be taken at time zero then it will be waiting for five time unit and then at t equal to five time unit b will become one now let's see one another procedural block here so here what again we are doing is we are assigning c the value of v after five time units which is intra assignment delay so again grab the value of v at current instance that means what that means the value of b is zero so this always block and this always block are basically running concurrently okay so at every positive edge clock this always block and this always block will be evaluating so grab the value of v at current time which is nothing but let's assume t equal to 0 so the value of b at t equal to 0 which is nothing but 0 so value of b which is 0 will be stored in some temporary variable and then after 5 time units it will be assigned to c that means the value of b at t is equal to 0 is 0 and at t equal to 5 what will be the value that value will be assigned to c so c will become 0 now let's see the third type of timing control statement used in Verilog which is nothing but wait statement. So wait statement what does it say is and again wait statement is non synthesizable that means we should not use the wait statement in the Verilog RTL code which, which we are using to implement some hardware but we can use them in test when simulation. So delay executing the statements following the wait until the specified condition evaluates to true. What basically the meaning of this line is, let's understand the wait statement using the syntax. So this is the syntax here, we have wait statement and then the condition expression and statements. So wait until this condition evaluates to true, that is what wait statement says. So once this condition becomes true, these statements will get executed. Now let's see one example. So if you see here, we have an example wait and the condition is nothing but not of c and then the statement is a equal to b that means until this not of c becomes 1 this statement a equal to b will not evaluate and it will the basically the control of the simulations will wait at this statement itself once c becomes 0 that means not of c will become 1 and the condition here will become true and then the statements Whatever statements is written here or how many statements are written here, irrespective of that, all these statements will get executed. So wait until c equal to 0, then assign b to t. So when c becomes 0, note of c will become 1, condition will become true and the statement will get executed. So I hope this is clear. The fourth type of timing control statement used in very low is event control or it is also known as at the rate. So this poses a statement or begin and block. So basically a statement or whatever is written inside begin and end block to be executed only after a specified event has occurred. And what is that event? An event is a change in a variable and the change may be a positive edge or negative edge or either a level change. So the event control statement executes whenever there is a specific event happens and what is an event here? An event is nothing but a change in a variable and in what forms of that and in what form that change may happen? That change may happen either positive edge of that variable, negative edge of that variable or a level change that means 0 to 1 or 1 to 0. And this is specified as positive edge, which is nothing but positive edge change, negative edge change or no keyword respectively. If there is no keyword specified with the variable, that means it is a level sensitive variable. The important point here is for synthesis, we should not combine level and edge changes in the same list. That means list here is nothing but the sensitivity list. That means we should not combine both level sensitive variables and age sensitive variables in the same procedural block. We will see this through an example which will clarify uh, everything in more details. For the flip flop and register synthesis the standard list contains only a clock and an optional reset. So basically if 
we are implementing some flip flops or registers in our hardware we should use clock and reset signal and those should be edge sensitive and for synthesis to be combinational logic that means whenever we are modeling some combinational logic or we are writing hdl code to implement some combinational logic our sensitivity list the variable inside our sensitivity list should be level sensitive that means we should not specify any kind of positive edge or negative edge keyword along with them so i hope this is clear now let's see the syntax so syntax of event control statements are nothing but at the rate and then we have the what kind of change or what kind of change we want in a variable so so basically we are expecting a positive edge change in that variable or negative edge change in that variable or some other another variable so what does that mean is even so so how event control statement work is it will wait until there is a positive edge or negative edge happening in some particular variable then only it will execute these statements so this is how event control statement basically controls the timing of our hdl code so here it is a levels uh, here is a edge sensitive changes and if we are modeling some combinational logic where we do not need edge sensitive variables but we need level sensitive variables we need to specify like this at the rate variable that means if, if no positive edge or negative edge is specified these variables are nothing but level sensitive variables now let's see one example here so here we are saying that always at positive edge clock or negative edge reset if reset q equal to 0 else q equal to d so this is so this event control is basically with positive edge or negative edge variables so it will result in the sequential logic elements now the second example is with level sensitive variable so here it will synthesize to combinational adder so friends i hope the concept covered in this module is clear if you have any doubts please write down in the comment section also if you like this video please hit the like button and do subscribe with this channel and press the bell icon so that you would get notified as soon as i upload a new video thank you very much